On the patch, the mission number appeared in Roman numerals as Apollo 13. It did not have to be modified after Swigert replaced Mattingly, as it is one of only two Apollo mission insignia, the other being Apollo 11 not to include the names of the crew. The mural was later purchased by actor Tom Hanks, who portrayed Lovell in the movie Apollo 13, and is now in the Captain James A. Lovell Federal Healthcare Center in Illinois. The mission's motto was in Lovell's mind when he chose the call sign Aquarius for the lunar module, taken from Aquarius, the bringer of water. The command module's call sign, Odyssey, was chosen not only for its Homeric association but to refer to the recent movie, 2001, a space odyssey, based on a short story by science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke. In his book, Lovell indicated he chose the name Odyssey because he liked the word and its definition, a long voyage with many changes of fortune. The Saturn V rocket used to carry Apollo 13 to the moon was numbered SA-508, and was almost identical to those used on Apollo 8 through 12. Including the spacecraft, the rocket weighed in at 2,949,136 kg. The SIC first stage's engines were rated to generate 440,000 newtons less total thrust than Apollo 12's, though they remained within specifications. To keep its liquid hydrogen propellant cold, the S2 second stage's cryogenic tanks were insulated, on earlier Apollo missions. This came in the form of panels that were affixed, but beginning with Apollo 13, insulation was sprayed onto the exterior of the tanks. Extra propellant was carried as a test, since future J missions to the moon would require more propellant for their heavier payloads. This made the vehicle the heaviest yet flown by NASA, and Apollo 13 was visibly slower to clear the launch tower than earlier missions. Also considered part of the spacecraft was the launch escape system, which would propel the command module to safety in the event of a problem during liftoff, and the spacecraft LM adapter, numbered as SLA-16, which housed the lunar module during the first hours of the mission. The LM stages, CM and service module were received at Kennedy Space Center in June 1969. The portions of the Saturn V were received in June and July. Thereafter, testing and assembly proceeded, culminating with the rollout of the launch vehicle, with the spacecraft atop it, on December 15, 1969. Apollo 13 was originally scheduled for launch on March 12, 1970. In January of that year, NASA announced the mission would be postponed until April 11, both to allow more time for planning and to spread the Apollo missions over a longer period of time. The plan was to have two Apollo flights per year and was in response to budgetary constraints that had recently seen the cancellation of Apollo 20. The Apollo 13 Prime crew undertook over 1,000 hours of mission-specific training, more than five hours for every hour of the mission's 10-day plan duration. Each member of the Prime crew spent over 400 hours in simulators of the CM and of the LM at KSC and at Houston, some of which involved the flight controllers at Mission Control. Flight controllers participated in many simulations of problems with the spacecraft in flight, which taught them how to react in an emergency. Specialized simulators at other locations were also used by the crew members. The astronauts of Apollo 11 had minimal time for geology training, with only six months between crew assignment and launch, higher priorities took much of their time. Apollo 12 saw more such training, including practice in the field, using a Capcom in a simulated backroom of scientists, to whom the astronauts had to describe what they saw. Scientist astronaut Harrison Schmidt saw that there was limited enthusiasm for geology field trips. Believing an inspirational teacher was needed, Schmidt arranged for Lovell and Hayes to meet his old professor, Caltech's Lee Silver. The two astronauts, and backups Young and Duke, went on a field trip with Silver at their own time and expense. At the end of their week together, Lovell made Silver their geology mentor, who would be extensively involved in the geology planning for Apollo 13. Farouk El Baz oversaw the training of Mattingly and his backup, Swigert, which involved describing and photographing simulated lunar landmarks from airplanes.